no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net I assume most of you have noticed that our culture seems to be downright obsessed, infatuated, and fixated on zombies and vampires. They seem to be in every movie, TV show, novel, video game, and breakfast cereal that permeates our mental activities. Why is that? Well, I think it's because we're surrounded by them in reality, in our everyday lives, and we don't realize it. Think about it, people walking out into traffic because they've got their iPod in their ears and their iPhone in their hands. They are zombies, unaware of their surroundings, merely seeking the next small dopamine burst from achieving the next level in a video game. Customer service employees with no genuine emotion, just following the franchise guidelines for human interaction in order to suck money out of you. Dead eyes, plastic smiles, every cashier is a Jones. Rivers faced version of a human being. Soulless, empty companies that mean nothing and don't even seem to produce anything, yet rake in billions like Goldman Sachs. Twitter accounts that automatically pump out tweets not actually from any celebrity. You get Facebook friend requests from fucking bags of potato chips now. You're tagged in photos of shoes as if you are those shoes. Was it a human who posted that photo? A shoe zombie? A footwear? Wolf? And now a part of your Facebook soul has been given up to a pair of Nikes forevermore. Charges on your credit card that aren't actually from you. I didn't spend $312 on Roach Repellent in Poughkeepsie. No, you didn't, but it was a mindless clone pretending to be you. It was the vampire you. Foodstuffs from fast food places that don't really give you any nutrients and instead zap your energy, leaving you tired and mentally vacant. It's vampire food, sucking your life force. Corporate politicians devoid of conscious thoughts, stumbling along and spitting out whatever robotic line will get them elected. God knows what happens when one of those politicians talks to a customer service representative. It must be like placing Teddy Ruxpin across from a speaking spell. For-profit universities and health services slurping at the bank accounts of the sick and hopeful. And corporations, having been endowed with the freedom of speech and declared human by the Supreme Court, are not only the richest zombies mankind has ever seen, but they are also the most powerful, eating the brains out of our entire political and social system. No wonder we're all so fascinated with vampires and zombies right now. We're fucking surrounded by them. Are you prepared for the zombie apocalypse? I hope so. Because you're in it. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Can you think of other zombies and vampires, other walking undead permeating our culture? If so, write them in the comments section or at LeeCamp.net and the person with the best one will win a free digital download of my comedy album, Pepper Spray the Tears Away. Thanks. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.